I'm Bill. I'm with Kalimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. The all new 2022 BMW S1000 RR. We are ready for our very first ride. And well, this video will be a little bit of controversy. And listen, you can ask a thousand people and a thousand people will give you a thousand different answers. This is just particularly how I break in a motorcycle. Now you guys have been asking me a lot, how do you break in your motorcycle? What's the proper way? And well, I don't know that anybody knows the answer of a proper way to break in a motorcycle, but years ago in about 2007, when I bought my very first brand new bike, I wanted to break in the motor the correct way. And I found the Motoman method. And the Motoman method is basically what I've been doing ever since 2007. All of our bikes have been broken in Moto Man method way, and well, knock on wood, thus far, we have never had any major uh, engine catastrophic failures on any of my bikes. So I guess maybe it's working. So I'm gonna walk you guys through on what I do. So let's go ahead and, well, we're geared up. Let's get the helmet cam on and out on some back roads and show you guys just how we break in a brand new motorcycle. All right, so the very first thing is getting a couple heat cycles in the bike. Now the bike has, seven miles on it from the dealer. So I think it came in with four miles and then the dealer puts an additional three or four miles on it. So this last week we haven't ridden the bike, but what I have done is I've started the bike a couple times and I've got it into a heat cycle. The heat cycle meaning where we let it just start, we let it idle, we let it run up to temperature. So the temperature gauge obviously you can see is still climbing just a little bit. And then what we do is we shut off the bike and we let the bike sit and that's a heat cycle, okay? So we're gonna put through a couple heat cycles before you ride the bike. Now, a full heat cycle, so you want the bike to sit basically overnight, do it in the morning, let it sit all day, do it at night. That's typically how I do it, okay? We all ready? All right. So, um, the Motoman method is, let me explain it to you. And I'm gonna try to find the original video and link it up above, okay? But what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna talk about the basics of what Moto Man Method says. So, his method is to basically ride the bike similar to how you're going to ride the bike as you would ride the bike normally, which is going up and down through the gears and up and down through the rev cycle. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head through town and basically just give it a little, give it a little gentle, gentle touch. All right, so we kind of live in an ideal place because we have these great <laughs> stretches of roads where there's not a lot of travel. So we're able to kind of do the Moto Man method. Now the Moto Man method is basically going through the gears and through the revs kind of equally, okay? So we're in third gear and uh, you want to do this for, he states the first, 30 miles and do an oil change, then 100 miles, then do an oil change. What I typically do is I just usually run up to 100 miles and do my first oil change. So what we're gonna do is in third gear, we're gonna let off the gas, head it down to 4,000 RPMs. Then we're gonna head up to 6,000. And then we're gonna let go. And we're gonna go down to about five. And we're gonna go up to 7,000 RPMs. Then we're gonna let off. We're gonna let it to six. We're gonna go up to 8,000 RPMs. Let off. And basically rinse and repeat. So now we've hit the rev limiter, so we'll go ahead and go down. We're gonna slow down just a little bit and we'll take it through the revs from six to eight, back down to six. Six to eight. And then we'll go ahead back up into third. Six to seven. Seven to eight. And so on. So basically what you're doing is you're never keeping the bike at any one speed, typically for your very first hundred miles, okay? And again, we live in kind of a good area because where we're heading today in our first ride video will actually be up here in the mountains, which then we typically have a nice variance. So 
Again, we're gonna kind of get up. Second gear, 7,000, let down. Up. Third gear, run the same. And that's basically it. Now, again, he uh, is very clear about changing oil. Now, a lot of the dealers and a lot of manufacturers now have running oil, and they typically tell you to leave the running oil for 6,000 miles. But what we wanna do is we wanna get those, those uh, metal shavings out of the engine as quick as possible. So what we want to do is we want to run it up to 100 miles and then we're going to drain the oil. Now the filter is still going to be okay. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to change the filter. But we definitely dump the oil and get fresh oil in it. And we're just going through the through the revs, right? Take them all the way through the rev range. Shift down a little bit. Get a little nicer rev up and down. So we're just keeping a variance on the motorcycle. Now, for us, we have the rev limiter at 9,000 RPM, so we can't go above 9,000 RPM anyway, which is, I don't know. It's, it's uh, I, I'm a 50-50 on it. I think that BMW, put that rev limiter on there solely because people are revving the piss out of it when they first get their motorcycles. And I know in 2010, when they initially started doing this, people were leaving the showroom floor and just tacking it out. And they were blowing up their motors. There's two birds fighting. <laughs> um, so I think BMW really did it for a reason. Like all the manufacturers tell you to take it easy in the first 600 miles. Now, I think our bikes are built a lot differently nowadays than they are back when these, these rules were made up or these, these procedures. And again, there's no real, there's no real, um, science behind keeping it under 6,000 RPMs. I hear a lot of people on the Street Fighter forums that say they just bought a new Street Fighter and, you know, they, they haven't taken it over 6,000 RPMs. I don't think that's, I don't think that's at all necessary not to do. I don't think that you can, I think you're fine going up above 6,000 RPMs or eight or nine or even 10 or 12, but keeping it those revs, that's where we want to that's where we want to keep away from we want to keep away from just pinning this thing and tacking it out in the first hundred miles we also don't want to keep the miles or we don't want to keep the the rpms at any one uh stable variance right we want to keep it up and down up and down so we're going to continue up to Berryessa. I won't bore you with the variances of the RPMs, but let's actually get up to the gas station and then we'll do a little wrap up on the video. All right, you guys, well, we are here up at Berryessa. And so we're at 25 miles. So the farm roads have definitely taken us through the variances of the RPMs and the gears. And uh, well, we're on some twisties, so we should be able to get some variances through here. Up shifts, down shifts, and revs up and revs down. So just keep them, uh, just keep them moving. Keep the revs moving.
did we get some fresh baby? Oh yeah, baby. We got some fresh baby. So this is what happens when you don't ride up here all summer. <laughs> and I guess fall, hell, we're going into winter now, so. There, ah, oh, nope. Oh, we still got it. <laughs> I thought it ended back there. So this is, again, just the, my preference in how I like to break in my bikes. And you guys will comment below and there'll be people that'll call me dumb, people that say you should do it this way, people that say you should do it that way, people that say, look, straight off the show and floor, ride it like you stole it. Some people will say, just ride it the way you're gonna ride it. Some of you guys are gonna say, never go above 5,000 RPMs. Some will say, ah, 8,000 RPM. Some will say, the Moto Man break-in is a very good way to do. Um, so there's a lot of different variances to it. There's anyway, a lot of different comments down below. Again, this is just how I have done it since 2007. When I bought my very first bike, uh, brand new bike, my 2007 GSXR 1000, and um, I think that bike, man, I had like 23,000 miles on it. I rode that bike a lot. I love that bike. And so, yeah, I mean, it's uh, works for me. again really want to do motorman says like uh, 30 miles and then change the oil and 100 miles and change the oil and i think that's a little bit old uh i think that that's probably you know because the motorman method's been around like i said for you know 20 years so i would definitely say um our oils now can can go a bit longer, but the idea of changing the oil is to get all of the little metal shavings out of the oil, get fresh oil in it, and then uh, and then we'll take it in for the 600 mile service. We'll get an oil change again, and uh, and then what we'll do is then uh, and then we'll be that's it, and you're a wrap. So. Go ahead and get her in neutral. So get the menu button here. So, so uh, let's see. Find the kickstand. They're all in different places. <sighs> so I don't know. We did it on the uh, the Panigale V2. We did it on the Street Fighters. We've done it on basically all of our bikes. We kind of do this method. We really focus, we try to get the first at least 30 miles this way. This is, I think, ideal. Now, at your first 30 miles, it, what ideally Moto Man says is that, that that now we should let it cool overnight and let it be done with its heat cycle. Um, but obviously, we got a little more ride. So uh, we're going to be riding just a little bit more on this. But we're going to be, again, through the variances. And uh, by the time we get home, we'll probably have 80 miles on the bike. Uh, I'll have the bike ridden tomorrow, which will get us over that 100 miles. We'll change the oil. Then we'll get our 600-mile service on. And finally, the rev limiter off. That thing is just so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I don't love it. I hate it. So uh, how we break in the all new 2022 BMW S1000 double R. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Do the normal. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys are subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys hit the bell notification. Bell notifications going to give you future notification of future content. And uh, what I need everybody to do right now is like that video, uh, please. Uh, if you guys, even if even if you guys don't ag agree with it, look, hit the like button. Um, and, and for the bike, for the bike. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, we've got a lot of build going on with this. We've got the radiator guards already on, which we talked about on the first ride. I did install the windscreen, um, but we've got a lot of parts already coming for this. So stay tuned. We'll see you next video. Bye guys.